music. One of mankind's greatest inventions. It soothes our souls, stimulates our minds, gives sound to our innermost emotions. Now, pair that up with buttery smooth fight scenes, a lot of unnecessary running, a main character grabbing a fistful of air, and a squad shot of the whole ensemble, and make sure to cap it at a minute and 30 seconds, congratulations, you've made yourself a shonen anime OP. What's up anime fans and manga readers? Today we're taking a look at OPs and why they are so important to the medium of anime, and especially the shonen genre. OPs, or opening themes as they're more commonly called, have been attached to serialized episodes on television for almost as long as the medium has existed. Opening themes used to be a lot more common back in the day, but a lot of TV shows, live action, and animation these days tend to skip them entirely, opting for a title card that stays on screen for no more than five seconds. Now I'm not saying that's a bad thing, no, but when an OP is done right, it is a thing of beauty and can often outlive the show itself. Take Game of Thrones for instance. <laughs> know what a dumpster fire it turned out to be in the end, but the intro still lives on and is universally regarded as a masterpiece, keeping the show in the collective minds of people even after all this time. For anime, the relationship between show and OP is even more interesting. When you first start watching anime, it's usually the story and characters that draw you in. However, over time you come to realize that it's not just the plot or the characters that make it stand out from the rest. There's another element that becomes incredibly important, the opening theme songs. These songs set the tone for the series, capturing its essence and pulling viewers into the world before the first scene even begins. They often become synonymous with the anime itself, evoking powerful emotions and a sense of nostalgia long after the series has ended. A lot of people tell me they skip the OPs at the start of every episode and I'm sorry. That makes absolutely no sense to me. It's one thing if you're binge watching a show with two dozen episodes and you don't want to hear the same song every time, but to never even watch it? Nah, that deserves jail time at the very least. A good opening theme is essential for setting the tone, so much so that if it's bad, it can throw off the entire vibe of the show. The combination of music, lyrics, and visuals in the opening sequence provide viewers with a sense of what to expect in terms of genre, themes, and overall atmosphere. Case in point, Attack on Titan! The dark, grimy, gothic-inspired vibe of the first opening in Attack on Titan and the militaristic anthem of the second season let you know exactly what the show feels like long before you even watch an episode. The music and visuals draw you into this brutal, bloody world of kill or be killed where humans struggle to survive the menace of the man-eating titans beyond the walls. They're brilliant and they do their jobs effectively. In contrast, the opening for season 3 of Attack on Titan is a much slower, less intense ballad that focuses on the characters reminiscing on their childhoods and lost innocence. While it is a beautiful song and a deliberate stylistic choice, one could argue that it's not a perfect match for the kind of story being told in Attack on Titan and could detract from the experience of some viewers. Another example would be Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. The original Naruto had a lot of great openings that were mostly upbeat rock. But once we switch over to Shippuden, the very first opening lets us know that these characters are not the kids we left behind. Every fan remembers just how great it was to hear that hip-hop beat of Hero's comeback kick in. That opening told us our hero was all grown up and that this was a more mature phase in his life. And for a long-running series like this, switching up the OP every arc keeps things fresh and exciting. There's that extra sense of excitement when you hear a new track kick in with refreshing visuals teasing what's just up ahead. There's a lot of really great openings in anime, but there are some that stand out more than others in terms of matching the tones of their respective shows and just being great tracks overall. The jazzy, brass-heavy opening for Cowboy Bebop and the lo-fi hip-hop opening for Samurai Champloo are two such standouts for their stylistic flair and artistic quality. 
In more recent times, we've seen catchy OPs like the one from Mashal, Unravel from Tokyo Ghoul, and Garenge from Demon Slayer. They all seeped into pop culture, even from non-anime fans. That's the power of a good OP. These minute and a half teasers give viewers a little taste of exactly what's going to unfold in the series. Sure, some of these may sound cliché or uninspired, or contain major spoilers with zero context, but they form an integral part of the overall anime experience. These themes can evoke nostalgia and strong emotions, becoming synonymous with the series and enhancing its identity within the anime community and even beyond it. Anyway, that's all we have for today, folks. Do you agree with our picks? Maybe there are some great OPs I forgot to mention. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and tell me your favorite OP of all time, if you can pick one. I know I can't. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell to get regular updates on new videos. I make awesome anime and manga content like this every week, so be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.